Hello everyone, today I'm going to share my pay stub as an Associate Professor of Mechanical Engineering Department at Penn State University. I've always been curious to know how much people are making at different roles, but there has always been a secrecy in salaries, and I never understood it. Why should there be fear in transparency? So I'm sharing you the details of my salary here, and also I think that would be a good educational tool for recent PhD graduates who are evaluating whether they should join industry or academia. They would be able to know how much uh, they end up making as a faculty. Here is my pay stop for pay period of beginning of September of 2023 till the end of September. I'm not going to make you watch till the end of the video to find out how much I'm making. I have highlighted my monthly salary for you here. $8,040.09. If you multiply it by 12, that would be around 97000 And that's my yearly salary. So as a faculty, our salary is based on nine months. Our yearly salary is divided by 12, so we get something at the end of each month, but technically it's based on nine months. That means that for summer months, I'm not getting paid. And that gives me opportunity to seek research projects to teach summer classes and that would be additional pay so this salary is for nine months but that's not the amount that is going to hit my account there are going to be taxes there's going to be benefit deductions so at the end of each month that's the amount that i'm receiving five thousand eight hundred and thirty dollars and fifty one cents and there is some fluctuation depending on how much money I send to my health saving account. That will go through it. Well, let's go to EE taxes, employee taxes. The first one and the largest uh, tax that I'm paying would be for Social Security, this OASCI, Old Age Survivor and Disability Insurance. So I'm contributing four hundred sixty-one dollar each month, and my my employer Penn State is contributing the same amount. And I'm hoping by the time I retire, there will be money left in the Social Security, so I can benefit from that as well. And the age of retirement, according to Social Security, is sixty-seven. You can take early earning at 62 but at 30 percent reduction or you could wait until you are 70 and each year that you wait after 67 you get eight percent more for the max of 24 percent increase at 70. Medicare is the health care insurance at retirement then the federal taxes are 325 state taxes SUI is state unemployment insurance then the city tax and also PA, a local services tax. So this city tax is, uh, if you own a property, you have to pay city tax, you have to pay school tax, and of course that's separate than your income taxes. So the total tax that I'm paying is 1200 every month. And now we are coming to deductions or pre-tax deductions that are reduced from my salary before I'm taxed. Dental insurance. Health saving account, so that's the money I choose to send to my health saving account. So the title of this table is pre-tax deduction. So if I send more money, then I'm taxed less. So that would be a good strategy to send uh, some fund to your health saving account if, if you have that kind of insurance. And the more you send it, the more taxes you save, but you are going to get paid less. So if I don't send anything out of this 400 Probably I'm gonna it's gonna be taxed, so I'm gonna get 350, 340 in my account, and my total salary for monthly would go to probably around 6,200. I have PIA retirement plan. I'm contributing five percent, the maximum, so that would be five percent of my monthly salary, 402, and uh, the vision insurance. So for the total of 1,000 dollar reduction. So according to Social Security, my pay every month is 7440 So that's my total, my gross pay, minus the deduction. 
not all the deductions because all the deductions are 1,000, everything except these 400. So Social Security doesn't care that how much you're sending into a health saving account. Same thing for Medicare, for federal withholding, that 400 is also counted. So my gross pay was around 8,000, 1,000. If you subtract 1,000 from it, that would be 7,000. So according to for federal uh, taxes, my monthly salary is $7,038.53. So let's come to this table. That's employer taxes. So these are the benefits that I receive in addition to my salary. This is just basically for my uh, review and record. These are not subtracted from my salary. These are the amount that my employer is paying every month. The dental insurance, I'm paying $7, $17. My employer pays $50. Health saving account, that's a one time uh, in a year on January 31st. That's a one time payment of $800 for, for families. And I think if you're single, it's around $400. Medical insurance is $1,500. So I'm paying $178. My employer pays $1,500. So between my employer and I, that would be. 1700 I'm paying for health care premium and I have a high deductible account so each time I go to a doctor I have to pay the full price even though we are contributing 1700 for the premiums so I think that's a really a broken system then I have for Medicare the Social Security that's the same amount that I'm contributing the retirement um, health saving plan so that's different than the retirement plan. It's just a health saving plan for the retirement. Uh, there is a stipulation that I have to work for, I think, 25 years so I can withdraw from this fund. And this is the retirement plan. You can see the amount that my employer is contributing is much more than the amount I'm contributing because I'm contributing at 5% and my employer is contributing at 9% or slightly higher than 9%, which is, which is generous among employers. And I have the vision insurance for $10. So my benefit every month is 3000 So that's in addition to the salary. It's not taken from the salary. So my uh, base pay would be 8000 Year to year, year to date is 68 And I have supplemental pay. So as I mentioned earlier, the salary is for nine months during summer. Months if I get a project, if I teach summer classes, then that would be an additional pay. So if we say that my total salary is 100 uh, for summer months, which is three, I can get one third of my base pay of nine months. So I can get up to 33,000 additional pay uh, in addition to my base pay. So that would be the maximum I can, I can get paid. Then we go down to allowances and additional withholding so you're telling irs how many dependents you want to claim for or how many how much withholding you want to have so at the end of the year they're really don't they're not gonna uh, make a difference if you owe money to irs you have to pay and if they owe you they will send you a check so everything is gonna balance out at the end and uh, here the amount of money that goes to my bank account uh, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please tell me is there more or less of what you thought uh, I'm, I'm getting paid. And as a as an associate professor with a PhD with seven years experience, please comment below. Thank you for watching.